But new tonight, we're learning that that launch pad took a lightning strike as those storms moved through. Take a look. Video right here. The bolts came very close to the mega rocket topped by the Orion crew capsule with a, at least a single bolt hitting that lightning tower on pad 39B right there. So the towers there are, of course, to protect the rocket and ground the lightning bolt. News 6's Brian Didlake is on the Space Coast tonight with what officials are saying about that bolt and the final preps. Brian. Uh, NASA officials have been in meetings for most of the day preparing for the historic launch. It'll be 50 years since people have made it to the moon. Artemis 1 is the first mission toward making that a reality again. This will be an unmanned mission to test equipment to make the next mission with the crew as safe as possible. In meetings today, engineers and top officials within NASA say they are looking at a few things. The first and most important will be to test the Orion spacecraft to see what will happen when it swings around the moon. The second is to see how the vehicle will operate in a flying environment. And third is to retrieve it once it returns to save costs. Although with all the excitement, one NASA leader did note a potential problem during Saturday's storm after lightning hit near the spacecraft. To strike. Um, it, it, it has it has the potential to have crossed a threshold, but the, the teams are looking on it. As you can imagine, a lightning strike, uh, there are a lot of nuanced parts of a lightning strike analysis that you have to do. So uh, they're working through that now. I'm and now we are still waiting to see what damage, if any, did happen or occur after that lightning strike. Of course, there is still much anticipation for the first test flight of Artemis 1. But for now, we are at the Kennedy Space Center. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.